They, can, they can hold their own with the ducks, but we upgraded the pump. Yeah, and then freeze them. These are all my banana peppers. I have so we got a pop-up rainstorm. It seems like a better choice. It used to be that these guys had the bigger one. No. No, they have the smaller one. That makes way more sense. But I still put some out. Put them on the ground. Everyone on the ground because, well, there's more than... <laughs> now the ducks are like, um, we're going to try and get some. Here you go. Sorry, guys. I mean to scare you. Sorry. Hey. Since the meat birds are all out, I had the boys sleep out here tonight. It was for the first time. They're like, we're out of here. We're out of here, Mom. Let's go. All right, I guess we're going out. I was going to feed you. There they go. We'll eat a little bit, and then I'll put them out. Um, they, can, they can hold their own with the ducks, but I like to make sure that they have, they get their own. And then I'll put them out with everybody, and they'll eat grass all day, and swim, and yeah. And the goats hear me, so they're starting to throw a little fit. So I'm going to leave this open. The bucks don't have a whole lot to eat. Um, <laughs> once they're done eating, they'll either decide to come out or not. Um, the does are still locked up. I want to give them an opportunity to come out. This little guy still needs a name. Hello. Hello. Of course. Jar Jar Binks. Hi, buddy. He's the one we hatched. Yeah. And one of the other ones, the other one that hatched, too, didn't make it, just as a reminder. Oh, my goodness. More of this stuff keeps coming out of the ground. I'm telling you, we clean this up periodically, but it just slowly comes out of the ground. I'm sure this was a little bit of a dumping spot in the previous owner's. Um, that's all right. We just keep picking it up. Over the weekend, um, we upgraded the pump. It, the one that came with this, it just was not keeping it clean. It was a constant struggle. Yeah, there's a few bugs from overnight, but it's clear. You can actually see the bottom. Um, we also got a vacuum. I had to throw that in there because the, the geese keep trying to eat it if it's out here. I want to get a bin for all this stuff because, well, the animals keep trying to eat it. They probably put a hole in that one because of it so gotta love the animals but they love to destroy things they're very curious they're like little toddlers let's put everything in our mouths we must try it all a lot like goats geese and goats are really similar i think that's why i like them they're very curious animals very i want to do things my way but they are very destructive you notice anything different about the back of my house Besides all the stuff there. Boom. That used to be a window. Well, I'll put a door in. Don't like not having a window there, but I absolutely love having a door here. And I'll show you why. Now, eventually, this actually, this whole area is going to be a mudroom. Um, you know, with a slab and walls and all that. Um, of course, the AC unit will be here, but you do not come inside. No, you do not. No, no, no. Why do you think you think, what makes you think you're coming in? No. Okay, it's still a mess in here because he just kind of like made this happen. But this is my storage room and laundry's right there. That means when I do laundry, I can take it right out to the line. Or when the kids come in all wet, they can just come right in the house. And then everything can go right in the laundry. That's exciting. This little guy really wanted me to pick him up and hold him. So I've just been holding him. Now this is the one that's not named, not Binks. Binks is a little bigger. Get a little harder for me to hold them with one hand. Isn't it, buddy? I'm just really happy. Oh, now you're ready to go? Oh, it's been a little while. Now he's ready to go. So I've washed these. I'm going to cut them up chop them up and then freeze them. These are all my banana peppers. I have so many of them. This is a very large colander. Um, I've given a bunch away. Anyway, I'm going to wash these. And we're, the kids and I are going to chop them um, so that they're, they're just a sweet pepper. So 
I can use them anytime I need them in chili, in eggs, anything I can think of that I need peppers. I'll have them all chopped and ready in the freezer. Isn't that what you want it to do? Sorry? Love this thing. It's so fast, so efficient. And you get to have the same size no matter what. Yeah. So all those peppers turned into this. I'm gonna put them in these two bags and get them in the freezer. So there was one banana pepper head turned. Um, so that's where the orange color here is from. I'm hoping to be patient enough to let some of the others turn. It'd be nice to have some different colors um, for different, I don't know, they different, adds different flavor as well as color to certain dishes. Um, so I'm not always patient enough and I pick things before. <laughs> but I'm also, we'll see that they're starting to they leave them on too long. Sometimes they don't actually turn. They just go, I don't know, moldy or whatever. So. so we found this interesting looking bug in our pool. Kids are taking a little break. Uh, and we're, well, we're all taking a little break. Anyway, it's dead. I was trying to flip it over. Okay. So I knew it looked like some sort of cricket, and it is. It's called a Carolina leaf roller, and these antennae are typical and very much helped to distinguish it. Looks like it might have been eaten by something, but kind of cool. Sorry if bugs creep you out, but there's so many new things that we are seeing here, so we've been very just learning a lot of new stuff. Right, bud? Yep. Okay, so now chopping up some tomatoes. These aren't the ones we're using. We've got others that are way riper. Um, then we're going to put them in here. They're cold packed, which means they're not, this is uncooked tomatoes. I'm going to put some um, basil in there as well. And then they're going to go in the, I'm going to use the steam canner this time. We'll see if we can get a good seal um, for 45 minutes. Like my hand is itchy. Oh, was the tomatoes making your hand itchy? No. Uh, uh, just making they might be. Okay, let's just try and put as much in as possible. Okay, uh, you're doing a great job. Uh, okay, so we have some basil, fresh basil chopped in there. It'll kind of mix around. Oh, it's okay. That's fine. Probably fell in as mommy was trying to put them in the jars. So, there we go. Some fresh basil chopped up in there. Um, okay. The goal is to get seven of these so I can get them in the canner. <laughs> So, slow going with the little one here, but Liam's doing a great job. I got bad spot on this one. Okay, we just cut off the bad spot. So, Liam is cutting out, like, the stem part. And then just cutting them in inside. half. And then I will chop them with the chopper. Careful with that knife, kiddo. Good job. You gotta stand in it. That doesn't make any sense. Did you want that? So this is a cicada. Right here, that's the, it's emerging from its shell. 
Now it has wings. The wing just popped out. It'll dry. They're the things that make all that noise at night. It's definitely alive. It's just barely moving. Wow, it's huge. It's huge. I've never seen them this big before. These are the things that make that racket at nighttime. And right now, they're actually making some noise too. But they make a racket at night. This is the biggest one I've ever seen in real life. Oh, and it's a cicada. <laughs> I think I forgot to mention that I know what it is. It's a cicada. It, they make they make the they're not chirpers. They make that oh, I don't know how to make it. It's just it's so deafening noise at nighttime. I grew up with them. They're pretty cool creatures. I don't even know what their use is, but yeah. This mega racket. So I moved it to the tree here. Um, its wings are mostly dry. It looks like it's bring, brought them close to its body. It'll probably be flying off soon or at least starting to make a racket. So I just weighed out another 25 pounds of tomatoes. Um, some of these will get like the bad spots cut off. So that's okay because we're turning these into spaghetti sauce. But I have to go to the vet to pick up the health certificate so that Liam can show his goats at the youth show on Friday. So just getting everything prepped and ready to go and we'll get this started when we get back. So this is Marigold. She is Noelle's daughter. Marigold's Elena's goat. She's very sweet. This is no, no, and this is a troublemaker, Aurora. She's deciding that she wants to try and eat my charging cord. No, kids are in the pool. Ducks just got fresh water in their pool. Geese, geese are just hanging out. Yeah, Noel, I, I only have so many hands. She'll bite me if I don't pet her when she wants to be pet. And her daughter apparently does the same thing. Oh, apparently it's hereditary. <laughs> Stop biting it. Better give them both my hands. So we got a pop-up rainstorm. Well, not quite pop-up, but ducks and geese. I saw them from the kitchen window. They're having a blast out here. Goslings are over there. And uh, these guys apparently got caught up here. Oh, they're going to nurse off a of mama, so... Yeah, they're gonna hang out here and make a mess, I'm sure. But I'm not in that lightning. I'm I'm not taking them out. So yeah, they're just gonna be here. Fun. Hi, boys. They're peeping at me. 